Come on and worship him. Come on, let's worship him. You deserve the glory and the honor as we lift our hands in worship as we praise your holy name you deserve the glory and the as we lift our hands in worship as we praise your holy name for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you your holy name you deserve the glory and the honor as we lift our hands in worship as we praise his holy name for you are great you do miracles so great like you for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you oh come let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Worship the Lord. Can we worship the Lord? Can we worship the Lord? 
Can we worship the Lord? Can we all speak to the Lord? And speak for today. Blessing. Pray that the Lord will give us a great visitation today. Pray for the success of this our service. And for all those who are not here today. Pray that the Lord will comfort their heart. Can we all talk to the Lord? In Jesus name. For your goodness and your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for spirit life, for health and strength, for a desire even to be in your house today. And as we come, Lord, we lift our hands and our hearts before you. Because, God, we recognize your awesome power. We recognize your goodness. We recognize your mercy and your grace. And as we come today, Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you. As we come in your presence, Lord, we know that we've still not been all that you want us to be. And therefore, Lord, this morning we put ourselves before you. We open ourselves before you. And we ask you, Lord, that you will wash us, you will purge us every inch from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. Heavenly Father, Jesus. that you will purge our hearts, Jesus, you'll purify Jesus. our hearts and our minds, and that Lord, as we lift our hands in worship and Hallelujah. praise and thanksgiving, God, oh God we honor you, we honor you, Lord, we honor you. The honor that we give, Jesus. we come to you as a sweet Hallelujah, favor, Hallelujah. Something in which you can delight. Jesus, oh, we praise God. your name, God, and that your presence will rest in this place. Hallelujah, and will Jesus. Rest upon for one of us. Yes, Lord, we thank Jesus, you. We Jesus. bless you. We magnify your name. Oh God, we and Lord, we just you. ask that you will remain with us, abide with us, and pour out your magnificent blessing oh, upon Lord, we your honor people you this morning. in Take this control, place. Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Can we all just worship the Lord? Can we all worship the Lord? It's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord. We commence our service this morning by singing the hymn. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to end. Oh, what a privilege to Can we oh, 
sing to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptation? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discarded. together in this fashion. I know it has been said before, but um, I want you to observe the, the protocol that the government has set and that each person must sit in the section that we have marked with the T. If you're not sitting in a section with the T, you need to go back to the section where the T is and sit in that position because we have to maintain social distancing. So I want everybody to, re to be reminded of that. And if somebody comes in and you see them sitting in the wrong position, just, just instruct them to sit in the, in the right place. Tonight, we, today, we want to just thank God and to really be thankful unto him. And as, I, and as we pray, we just want to pour out before God 
that things will get better and that we will be even get to get closer together. Oh, we are in a time that things have changed and we don't know when it's going to go back to the normal or we will have to get to a new norm. But we are still thankful because our hope is in Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Eternal God, our righteous King, our Lord, our Savior, the one who died for our sin and our redemption, that we, O oh God, will have eternal life. You are the God of our salvation. You are the one who, God, who lifts us up, O oh God, when we are down. You're one who takes us from the miry clay, Lord. O oh God, Lord God, look upon us, O oh God, who are undone and unworthy, Jesus. O oh God, we could not even look up. But Jesus, today, Lord God, you have saved us. You have sanctified our life. Lord, we say thank you, Lord Jesus, for this new day, Lord. We say thank you, Jesus, that we are able to come together, oh God, in greater numbers, Lord. And so, Lord Jesus Christ, we put everything into your hands this morning, oh God. Lord, I know we ask you, Lord God, to lead and to direct, Lord. Let your presence fill this house today, Lord. Lord, release your anointing, O oh God. Release your blessing, Lord God. As we lift up holy hands, Lord, to give you thanks and to praise your holy and matchless name, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, for your love and your grace that have been so greatly extended towards us, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, that there is no report, O oh God, of the coronavirus among the saints of the greater grace temple family in jamaica and so we say thank you lord thank you jesus thank you lord god that you even in this tough time when many oh god are stranded many are on the street oh god cold and oh god have no shelter have no food god you provide shelter you provide food for us oh god and so lord we say thank you jesus and so Lord God with a grateful heart we say thanks Lord God and as you oh God reveal yourself Lord and as you speak to us today Lord oh God help us to open up oh God anoint the preacher anoint the worshipers anoint each person today Lord that the worship that comes up to you come up as a sweet smell oh God and that you will rain down your blessing and your anointing and your power. We ask these mercies in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord Jesus. Let us just bless the Lord Jesus in the house. Isn't it lovely to be in the house of the Lord in such a fashion? Hallelujah. Some cannot go out and worship the way they would want to. But we are privileged. Hallelujah. We are privileged today. Glory be to God in the highest. At this time, I want to reiterate the government's instructions that persons enter only from the signs that marks entrance only. The signs at the doors, where the main side doors are, no entry. Please only go through that door. If you have to go to the restroom, please enter back through the entrance door only. We're just trying to be orderly. Praise the Lord Jesus. We ask that you, um, the signs that are marked on the benches with the green tees, you please sit in that spot only. If the Holy Ghost takes over and you feel a push to cross over, I beg you, don't cross over. Stay in order. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Praise God in your space as we maintain social distancing in another way. Praise the Lord Jesus. At this time, we will have the scripture reading that will be um, executed by Brother Lichmore. He will be reading from the book of James at James chapter 2. And you may follow Come alternatively. Come on right there, brother.
what will we do? Oh, wanting you more each day. Show us your perfect way. There is no Abraham our father 
Rebekah justified by work when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? See thou how faith work with his work, and by work was faith made perfect. And the scripture was fulfilled which says, Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Ye see then know that by works a man is justified, and not by faith only. Was not Rahab the harlot justified by works, when she had received the messengers, and had sent them out another way? 26 and last, we read together. For as, as the, the body, body without, without the spirit, spirit is, is dead, dead so, so faith, faith without, without work, work is, is dead. dead also. This is a portion of God's holy word. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Amen. Amen. Can we worship the Lord? Can we worship the Lord? Can we worship the Lord? Come on, my brothers and sisters. Can we worship the Lord? Hallelujah. Our next song is Friendship with Jesus. A friend of Jesus, oh, what bless, that one so weak as I should ever have a friend like this to lead me to the sky. A friend of Jesus, oh, what bless that one so weak as I should, should ever have a friend like this to lead me to the sky. Friendship with Jesus, fellowship. is a friend of mine, a friend when other friendship sees, a friend when others fail, a friend who gave me joy and peace, a friend when folds us there, stand on your feet, friendship with Jesus. Friendship with Jesus. 
Jesus. to be God's friend than God's enemy. On that day, some will approach him and he will consider some friend and he will consider some enemies. But if you are a friend, you can enter in. If you are an enemy, you will be cast out. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. I rather to know that I'm numbered among them. When the saints go marching in, he said, welcome, 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 good and faithful servant. Oh, bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The name that is above every other name. The name by which demons tremble in fear. The name by which we are delivered. The name by which we are saved. The name by which we are sanctified. Amen. What a name. Hallelujah. What a precious name. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus. Glory oh, glory God. be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to Jesus. By way of announcement, I want to acknowledge all our ministers, Pastor Roden. Elder Murdoch, Minister Gale, um, Minister Campbell, we bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bishop and his wife in their absence, I know they'll love to be here, but they're still joining in fellowship over, vi over the internet. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. For those of you who are not familiar, we are operating on the channel of YouTube. You can tap in on Facebook and you can follow with the service and if you have go grown a little bit old there are some services still online that you can tap into and refresh your spirit oh praise the name of jesus so um by way of, so at this point we will now have our songs and praise which will be led by um brother campbell bless the name of jesus can we worship the lord let me see all the we're happy to be here today. Lord, man, come on, man. We haven't been here for a while. Come on and show the gratitude to God. Lift your hands and worship Him. I don't want no daddy daddy service today. We want to lift up and praise God. Redeem when my burning of sin was high. Redeem. When my soul condemned to die, redeem for oh, the price I could not pay. I owe, hallelujah, redeem, redeem. When my burden of sin was high, redeem. When my soul condemned to die, redeem. Price I could not pay. 
my heart, my heart yeah, is invited Lord. in a good matter. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Woo. I was glad when they said unto me, come, let, come us let us go into the house oh, of, the of the Lord. Oh, Woo. glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I found out, glory be to God, that it's one thing when you're worshiping online. It's another thing when you get in line Woo! and start to worship God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. This Jesus, Jesus. Uh, mysterious Woo! when we come together ah. and magnify the Lord yeah! together. Oh, glory Hallelujah. be to Jesus. Woo! What a friend. We worship you, Lord. What a friend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a friend, what a precious friend. So, so complete, complete and so divine. divine. And if you walk this whole world over, there's no other you can find. What a friend, what a precious friend. So complete and so divine. And if you walk this whole world over, there's no other you can find. What a friend, what a precious friend. And if you walk this whole world over, there's no other you can find. A he's a friend, he's a precious friend, so complete and so divine. And if you walk this whole world over, there's no other you can find. What a friend, what a precious friend, so complete and so divine. And if you walk this whole world over, there's no other you can find. Hallelujah. Indeed, he's a precious friend. Hallelujah. Anybody ever know him that when your time, hey. when you're broken, when you're lonely, Jesus. and you need someone to comfort you, he's there. If you've ever needed a friend, I tell you, there's no friend like Jesus. On our theme today, there is a friend in God. Yes, oh, I'd rather to be his friend. I'd rather to be in his presence. For in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Bless the name of the Lord, Jesus Christ. At this time, we will continue in our worshiping through the medium of, of, of our tithes and offering. We'll be collecting the tithes and offering at this time. We join in worship because it's still worship. Ah, oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. I believe we still follow the customs. So those on my right, before we, before we follow the custom, let us pray. And then, you know, church kind of, the, the gathering aspect kind of wear out of us, so we'll go back into the, the customology of it. So let us pray. Stand with me. Living God, the God of gods, the one who answers by fire. Hallelujah. Carmel testified of your glory. Hallelujah. The day of Pentecost showed your story. And Lord God, we come here in your presence today as benefactors, God, of your spirit. We come in your presence, God, to give back, oh God, a portion of that which you have blessed us with. Oh Lord God, our hearts can testify that have it not been for the Lord who was on our side, surely we would have, oh God, been like them who have gone down in Sodom. Surely, God, if it had not been for your grace, and mercy. So many persons have died through this season, God. So many couldn't even have a proper funeral. But Lord, we're still walking on our graves. We're still in your presence. We can still testify. We can still talk about your goodness. And that is a blessing, Lord. So we come, Lord God, to give back a portion of that which you have blessed us with. Bless, oh God, this tithe and this offering. Bless it, God. May it go to the furtherance of your work in the name of Jesus. Those who have to give God, bless them abundantly in the name of Jesus. Those who have not but have the heart, Lord God, we pray that you will open up the doors, Lord God, in this hard time. Open up the doors. Make God Almighty wells in the desert in the name of Jesus and pour out blessing Lord God those who have a heart to rob you Lord God Almighty let your let your presence God be as raw fire before them oh God Almighty let you bring immediate conviction in the name of Jesus as we give God Almighty we give back to you in Jesus name amen 
Glory be to God. We will repeat the Giver's Creed. We affirm that the tithes belong to God for the work of God. We affirm we will not rob God of his sting. We affirm we will stand on the promised blessing. We affirm that he will sow it sparingly, shall reap sparingly. And he will sow it bountifully, shall reap bountifully. Every man according as he purposeth in his heart. So let us give, not grudgingly, not of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Those on my right remain standing. Those on my left. You may be seated and follow the instructions of the usher. Hallelujah. Bless. Hallelujah. If you should rely on these network, there are times your business won't be done. But you know what I'm glad about? I have a royal telephone. You can go to him anytime. With a morning, noon, or night, you can talk to Jesus through this royal telephone. Telephone to glory, oh, what joy divine. I can feel the current moving on the line. It was built by God the Father. to Jesus through the royal telephone. Telephone to glory, oh, what joy divine. I can feel the quiet moving all the line. It was built by God the Father for his love and all. You can talk to Jesus through the royal telephone. God is on the throne. You can get your answer through this royal telephone. I want to hear you say, Telephone to glory. Oh, what joy divine. Stand on your feet. I can feel the current moving on the line. It was built by God the Father. grounded and your connection true has lost with Jesus tell you what to do why and fate and promise and the broken wire till your soul is burning with the painting of that fire I want to hear oh I joy Oh! 
talk to Jesus. I said you may talk to Jesus. I said you may talk to Jesus. I said you may talk to Jesus. In the early morning, you may talk to Jesus. In the midnight tower, you may talk to Jesus. In the hot you may talk to Jesus. In the tick around, you may talk to Jesus. Shall you can't get through. You may talk to Jesus. I said you may talk to Jesus. To the Father, the name of the Lord Jesus, give him some glory, give him some praise, give him some glory, hallelujah, give him some praise, worship him with your lips right now, oh, remember the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, thank him, thank him, hallelujah, wherever you are, just look back, hallelujah, you can truly say that God is good, hallelujah, Thank him. Remember his mercies towards you. Remember that he's still keeping you in good health. Remember that your mind is still in, con in intact. Remember that, hallelujah, it is of the Lord's mercies while we are not consumed. Remember his goodness in the land of the living. And right there where you are, just thank him. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, God Almighty. We give you praise and glory for you are worthy. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I want, by way of announcement, to acknowledge, I think I saw her earlier, Sister Elizabeth. Bless you, ma'am. We welcome you in your service. The Lord Jesus bless you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And this Brotherhood Sunday, I want to acknowledge all our brothers here. Thank you for being faithful to the cause. Hallelujah. For there are some who cannot come out. Some would want to come out but cannot get out. But we are here. Hallelujah. So what I encourage you to do is to put on a double praise. Hallelujah. For everyone who is missing, put on a double praise. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And if we double up the praise, oh glory be to God. Angels will draw in this praise. Hallelujah. Glory be to God almighty and souls can be delivered souls which receive the infilling of the holy ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues demons be cast out sick be healed oh glory be to jesus hallelujah at this time i will now hand over to our pastor pastor roden and the holy ghost bless you can we shout hallelujah can the people of God who are happy shout hallelujah? Hallelujah! Oh, glory be to hallelujah. God. Glory be to God. Be to God. You may be seated. I greet you all in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Today I know what the psalmist meant when he said, I was glad when they said unto me, come and let us go into the house of the Lord. Does anybody else know what the psalmist was talking about? Let me hear you stand on your feet again and shout hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. I was glad. Today my heart is glad. We've not been here physically in the sanctuary for a couple of weeks now, but we've been meeting in the cloud. And I'll tell you that this is not an original. Somebody said it to me earlier this week as we had one meeting, one cloud meeting, said we are meeting in the cloud. And for the first time I recognized that yes, we were meeting in the cloud, but, but it was not the meeting in the cloud that the scriptures spoke about. A number of things are happening now which we look at them and we say the scriptures are fulfilling, but this is only an indication of what is to come. Revelation tells us that something is gonna happen and at that time, one third of the earth's population will be killed. 
Today, we are seeing with the coronavirus, with the pandemic, that one third of the Earth's population has been affected. So this is not yet that which the scriptures spoke about, but only to let us know that something is coming and we ought to be prepared for it. Can somebody say amen? amen. Uh, going back to that meeting in the cloud, there is coming a day when the saints of God, in the very same way we see Jesus go into the sky, we will see him coming back in the clouds and he is going to be receiving the church that has been waiting and is prepared to meet him. Oh, glory be to God. Can somebody shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Glory be to God. I too want to acknowledge the leadership of Greater Grace Temple, Bishop Holdsworth. He is with the saints in Portmore this morning. Bless the Lord. And Sister Holdsworth, we greet you, ma'am, in the name of Jesus Christ. They are not with us, but God is here. In the very same way that God is up at Papin, Greater Grace Papin, who are also meeting in the sanctuary. Not all our branches are out in the sanctuary in the numbers today, but come next Sunday, we'll all be out. We'll all be out. We'll all be out. Glory be to God. We've been meeting in the clouds, as I said, and I want you to continue to do those meetings. Join us as we have those meetings. Young Adult Sunday School will be at 1 o'clock today. 1 o'clock today. So young adults, you are not here because you are still considered um, a number of persons in the group are still considered children, just about getting to 17, 18, and therefore they are not here in the sanctuary, but they are waiting for their Sunday school class to be held. I'm telling you that it will be at one o'clock today. Our men's group, they have prayer meetings on Zoom on Tuesdays at 9 p.m., and on Saturdays at 7 p.m. Bible study is held also on Zoom at 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. That's 7 o'clock in the evening on Wednesdays for Bible study. And we ask you to bear those in mind. Also, those who will come to fasting and prayer, some are not going to work now, so more persons can come to fasting and prayer services in the sanctuary, we are open and we invite you to be here on Wednesday each week. God bless you as you do so. We are now going to be hearing the word of God, a rhema word from God. And I ask you to put your hands together and receive the speaker for the hour. Yes, bless the Lord in the person of Minister Horace Murdoch. God bless him. God bless him. God bless him as he comes. Amen. Can we just magnify the Lord? Right where you're standing, can you just lift your hands and just give God a praise in the house? Isn't our God awesome? Isn't he an awesome God? I don't know about anybody else, but I'm excited to be here. Praise the name of the Lord in spite of the restrictions and, and, and the things that we have to observe. I, I, am, I just feel excited to be in the house of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I, I, I feel good. Uh, to be in the presence of God, just to be in the company of his people. It's good to see everybody. So I'm struggling to recognize some persons because you're under your mask, but it's still good to be in the house of the Lord. Somebody just lift your hand and just give him a praise in the house. Just take a minute and just tell him thanks. Yeah, a few weeks ago, this, di this didn't seem possible. In fact, a few weeks ago, we were expecting, expecting the worst, but here we are. God is good. He is a good God. Ah, praise the name of the Lord. I wonder if somebody understands what I, 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 how I feel this morning. But God is a good God. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to use this opportunity to acknowledge our bishop, Bishop Holdsworth, Lady Holdsworth. In your absence, I greet our pastor, Pastor Anne-Marie Roden, Minister Powell, Minister Gale, all the other officers, saints, 
visiting friends also who are here with us today. Praise the name of the Lord. I, I want to, the time is far spent and I'm moving fast. I want to just stand with your Bibles as we look at the book of, we have two passages of scripture I want us to look at this morning. John chapter 15 from verse 13 through to 17. And James chapter 2 verse 23. So that's St. John chapter 15 from verse 13 to 17 and James chap chapter 2 verse 23 if you have it let's read it together greater love hath no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends you are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you henceforth I call you not servants for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that you should go forth and bring forth fruit, that your fruit should remain. And whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you, that, that ye love, love one, another. one another. To James chapter 2, and verse 23, it reads like this. And the scripture was fulfilled, which said, Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. Our theme for today is friendship with Jesus. Bow your heads with me. Lord, we thank you for this time, this privilege, this opportunity you have afforded us to come into your sanctuary and to rejoice in your presence. We thank you. Lord God, encourage our hearts with a word. Speak to us today. Speak to us, Lord. We, we wait for your word. We have come with expectant hearts. Speak, Lord, and we'll be careful to give you the praise. In Jesus' name. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Let me also acknowledge and greet the persons who are worshiping with us today via the various social media platforms. And, and it is a good thing God prepares us beforehand. Nothing happens by chance. God prepares us beforehand for all the eventualities because even when we couldn't be in the present in the, present in the sanctuary, we still had church. Praise the name of the Lord. We could still hear the word. We, 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 we were in church. Praise the name of the Lord. Friendship with Jesus. I want you to understand, you and I, we were created for relationship. We were created to interact with our fellow brothers and sisters. In fact, it was God in the Garden of Eden who looked at Adam all by himself. And God said, it is not good for man to be alone. And so he created a heave so Adam could have a re relationship. He had somebody who he could interact with. And in this present time, no more than ever, we need to interact as much as we have to observe all the social distancing and everything. We have come to realize how much we need each other. Before the advent of what is happening, many persons perhaps felt some level of independence. They felt they could manage all by themselves. But here this situation came along and we realized, we realized that no matter how independent we thought ourselves to be, we realized we, we needed somebody. We, at some point we had to call upon somebody. I want you to realize I, there is nothing more reassuring than knowing you have a shoulder to lean on. There is nothing more reassuring than knowing that when trouble comes, you have somebody you can call on. There is nothing more reassuring than being able to relate to somebody. There is nothing more reassuring than knowing that you are loved by somebody. It is a good thing in our families when we know that our family... Our family members, they do have our backs. When we know that when trouble finds us, there is somebody we can rely on. Amen. Perhaps 
they can't fulfill all our needs but there is a there will be a listening here there will be a shoulder to lean on yes. it's reassuring to know uh, that despite the conflicts we may have with our family members from time to time there comes a time of restoration where we will rebuild the relationship and still know that we are loved it is difficult, I want to say not impossible, to, to, to experience relationships and not at some point during that experience have some amount of conflict, confrontation, disagreement. That's par for the course in relationship. Yes. But also, it's a good thing that after the conflict, then there is the joy of reunion and restoration and coming back to being on the same level of understanding. Are you with me? And so, it is the same kind of relationship that Jesus Christ has offered to us. Am I talking to somebody in this place? He, he made the point to his disciples. He, he says, I am the, I want to put it like this, I am the epitome of love. Love, you don't get any higher level of love than what I am exhibiting, showing, giving to you. He says, greater love than this, and no man, than a man lays down, I want to say, give his all, his everything for his friends. Love demands more than just talk. Love demands more than just telling somebody that you love them. Because at some point, during the relationship, you will have to do more than just talk. At some point during the relationship, you will have to show to the other person that what you are telling them that you have for them, you want they have to now see it. You must now exhibit this love that you profess to having. It is more than just talk. Love demands much more. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. The story is told of a blind man who was asked, what is it, what was his, op his opinion of what the son was like? Or, or what friendship was like, rather. He was asked what he felt the son was like, and he said it is like friendship. That means he was saying that it must be felt if you close your eyes, nobody has to tell you that you are standing in the sun. You feel it. If you love me, I must feel the love you profess to having for me. And God has expressed his love for us. And we feel, we have felt the love that he professed to having for us. He loves us in spite of. He loves us regardless of. Amen. Irrespective of our relationship, with almighty God we cannot deny the fact that deep down inside of us we know he loves us Amen. am I talking to somebody in this place if it was up to us we would cultivate the friendship of the people we think can help us we would cultivate the friendship of the people we think would, their friendship would be beneficial to us we would cultivate the friendship of people who could help us out of our pitfalls. Who perhaps if we had a monetary challenge, they could meet us along the way. We would, we would cultivate the friendship of those people. We would cultivate the friendship of the people who could pull us up from where we are. Not many persons would cultivate the friendship of persons who would bring us down. But God commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, he still... Oh, am I talking to somebody in this place? Oh, and it, it bottles the mind to think that God could love me. I don't know about you, but, but it challenges me, challenges me sometimes to think that God could. And I don't know if there's anybody listening to me who, who know, who really know who you are. Not, not, not the image that the people think uh, that they will be allowed them to see, but, but we really know who we are. We know where we have been. We, we know our missteps and mistakes. And we, when we stop to think about who we truly are and to think that this awesome, almighty God who created the heavens and the earth could ever love someone like me. Jesus said to his disciples, just so you don't get it twisted, 
just, just so you don't go off with the wrong impression. You have not chosen me. And I, I get excited to think that he chose me. Oh, he said, it is I who have chosen you. In spite of what I know about you. And I know you. I still chose you. In spite of our deficiencies, he still chose to be our friend. He still chose to love us. In spite of our deficiencies, he still died for us. In spite of our shortcomings and failing, he still loved us. He still called us. And he's still working all things for our good. I know, I know we, we, we're not close enough, enough to touch anybody. But, but I wonder if somebody can just lift your hand right where you're sitting and just, and just talk to yourself and say, Lord, you chose me. Lord. I don't know. Uh, And I'm thankful. And you ought to be thankful. You ought to be grateful that he chose you. Jesus is the high point of love. Doesn't get any better than Jesus. Doesn't get any higher than Jesus. There are no limitations to his love and to his friendship. Ah, praise the name of the Lord. He has loved us with an unconditional love. Oh, God. And our friendship with Christ. Our relationship with Christ. The fact that we profess to being friends of Christ must be evidenced in our obedience to Christ. Not just something that we talk about. It must be an active obedience. Jesus made the point. He says, you are my friends. If you do my commandments. It's not enough to talk about it. It must become evident in our everyday life. It must be acted out in our life. Our friendship with Jesus. Our relationship with Jesus must be evident in the way we relate to others. It is not enough to talk about it. Our obedience must be an active obedience. It must be a continuous action because oftentimes we are prone to act according to how we feel at times. And sometimes, I must confess, I don't know about anybody else, but sometimes I just don't feel it. But whether or not you, you feel it or I feel it, we must act out of obedience to almighty God. Am I talking to somebody in this place? Uh, he does not say if you do it sometimes. He say if you do it it must be a continuous obedience to almighty God. It must be a universal obedience. Our relationship must be uh, our obedience must be a universal relationship to whosoever and wherever we are. Ah, uh, praise the name of the Lord. And if we're not careful, sometimes we could become partial and biased because you don't come to my church and you don't believe what I believe. Am I talking to somebody? But God loved us even when we didn't believe anything. Ah, uh, praise the name of the Lord. He still called us when we didn't belong anywhere. Am I talking to somebody? You need to understand that uh, we are not to become partial and biased in the way we relate. God's love to other people and as we walk in obedience to him it is a whom, to whomever or wherever we find ourselves and wherever has been forcefully brought home to us in this time because for many of us church was the place 65 A Deanery Road was the place but there was a time when we couldn't present ourselves at 65A oh. Deanery Road, but we still had to walk with God. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, even when I couldn't find myself at, the place, at this place, I still had to be obedient to the Amen. word of God. Am I talking Amen. to somebody? Amen. Even when I couldn't come to this place, Amen. I still had to love because God still loved. What if I'm talking to somebody in this place? Yes. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And I realized that it was a way river and to whomever. I had to show the love of God. I'm getting ready to go to my seat, but I want to share three things with you. Three things, I, I call them the, the, the three pillars of friendship. There must be sacrifice. Mm. 
There must be communication and there must be trust in every friendship. I want you to understand, Jesus Christ didn't just talk about love. He demonstrated love. Am I talking to somebody? Even if it, make, it would make him feel uncomfortable, he was willing to sacrifice because of the love that he had for us. In fact, he was willing to give his all. And you need to understand, if we are going to demonstrate the love of God, it will make us uncomfortable sometimes. We will have to make sacrifices sometime. We will have to give up of our time and substance sometimes. For any relationship to last and grow, there must be sacrifice. Yes. You must be willing to give up. And somebody said you'll have to give up to go up. But you must, there must be sacrifice in every relationship. Jesus Christ said to his disciples, Greater love at no man than this, that I am willing to give up my life for you. Sacrifice. For any friendship to grow, there must be communication. There must, you must talk to, people, to your other partner or the other side of the relationship and you must listen to them. If we are going to build our friendship with Jesus, we must not only be talking to him, but we must be listening to him. Am I talking to somebody? And it is amazing that we spend so much time listening to everybody else except Jesus. And if you listen to Jesus, then sometimes what you're trying to get from the other people, you wouldn't need it. You have got to, we have got to learn to spend time listening to Jesus. And, and, I, and I have a problem right now. I'm having a problem. I'm having a challenge. Because if you realize, my brothers and sisters, we are in a storm. And, and, and I, I am not against prophecy and the prophetic. Uh, but, but, but you don't have to tell me I'm in a storm. In the middle of the storm. You should have told me about the storm before the storm reached me. Now that I'm in the storm, I don't need anybody to tell me I'm in a storm. I know I'm in a storm. I hear the wind. I, I see the waves. Uh, you don't have to prophesy to tell me I'm in a storm. You, you should have told me about, about the storm before. I'm in a storm right now and I know it. Listen to Jesus. And you don't have to listen to conspiracy theories. Listen to Jesus. I, 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 the, the, the good thing about social media, the social media platform, is what we are able to do here today. That persons all over the world can tune in to us. But you've got to be careful who you are listening to. Am I talking to somebody? I say to you, if you're a good relationship, it's going to grow. You can't listen to hearsay. You have got to, oh, am I talking? I wish I had some real people in this place. You have, you have got to come back to the source. We have got to learn to listen to Jesus. And if there is anything that we ought to have learned during the past few weeks, is how to listen to Jesus. Because we should have been, I, I don't say, we should have been spending time and more time with Jesus. Am I talking to some real people? We should have been hearing from Jesus. We should have been talking to Jesus. Our relationship, our friendship ought to have grown over the past few weeks. I want to listen to Jesus. One songwriter puts it like this. He walks with me. And he talks with me. And he tells, oh God Almighty, he must have been listening to Jesus. Because I want him to walk with me through my storms. I want him to talk with me through my midnight season. I want him to reassure me when I fail and tells me I'm still his own. There must be communication for any relationship to grow. And then there must be trust. The Bible said that Abraham believed God. I want to put it like this. Abraham trusted God. And he was, it was counted unto him for righteousness. He became a friend of God. Because he took God at his word. 
It doesn't mean it didn't, if you read through the passages of scripture, you will come to realize it is not because it, there were in some doubting moments. It is not because he didn't have some trouble sometime. It is not because everything went well for him, but he trusted God through the midnight season. He trusted God through the uncertain moments. He trusted God through the midnight, through the stormy moments of his life. And one of the pillars of friendship, of relationship, is trust. We can't relate if I'm not trustworthy. We can't relate if you can't trust me. But I've come by to tell somebody, I'm going to my seat. I'm going to come by to tell somebody, you can trust God. You can take him at his word. If you are a friend of God, hold to his promises. Hold to his words. Oh, somebody said his words are yea and amen. I don't care what's happening around about me. I, I care. Yes, I do. I'm not overly concerned. I'm not worried because I know God has me. I'm a friend of God. I know he's got my back some troubles will come but I'm trusting God midnight seasons will come but I'm holding to his words I'm a friend of God I know he loves me I know he cares for me I know I belong to God and so in these turbulent times in these troublesome times as things change daily I encourage somebody, give up what you have to give up, but hold on to Jesus. Amen. Sever what you have to sever. Leave what has to be left behind, but hold on to Jesus. Yes. He's got you. Heaven bless you in Jesus' name. Yes. Can you all stand with me? Hallelujah. Glory Thank be to you, God. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God has spoken. Mm, let, the church, let the church say amen. Say amen. amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. God has spoken today. Hallelujah. Some of us are used to God speaking Jesus. in an emphatical way. Hallelujah. And some of us are used to speaking in speaking in a subtle way. Hallelujah. And some of us are used to in speaking in a still way. Hallelujah. But the fact is, God is still Hallelujah. speaking. Hallelujah. God has spoken today in a way that many of us have forgotten. Hallelujah. We have forgotten the main principles of friendship and what it is that make us friends of God. Ah, God Almighty, Abraham trusted God. He believed God and it was counted to him for righteousness. This is what made him a friend of God. Today, we are closing now and for those who are on the airwaves for those who have not come in contact with the Lord Jesus Christ you have heard of the gospel you have heard that Jesus Christ died of your sins you have heard that a price was paid for man's redemption 
but you have not accepted this gospel through belief and demonstration of faith in water baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have not accepted this gospel by accepting his death over your life through the burial in Jesus' name and receiving the infilling of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. I am telling you today that you are exposed to the wrath of God. And it is not the will of God that none should perish, but that all should have everlasting life. So if you have not experienced this, I am saying to you, find a church, find a Holy Ghost believing church, a Jesus Christ name baptizing church, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We are going to pray at this time. And the altar is open. But you don't have to come up to be close up. God's prayer can reach you anywhere you are. But I feel that I'm being led by faith today to pray in a different way. I understand the government stipulation and we will not break any rules. But I feel the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, asking that we should just welcome him to do something miraculous here, hallelujah. God wants to move in our midst, hallelujah. God wants to break some chains, glory be to God. God wants to break this chain of of oppression on our nation oh glory be to Jesus and if we will just step back and let God step forth something will happen Ah, glory be to Jesus we believe you Lord we believe you God hallelujah hallelujah father we step in the realm of faith today your word said we are two are gathered oh God touching anything in your name you are in the midst to bless God almighty you have spoken in a way we are not used to you have spoken God and remind us of the friendship that we have with you and that you were the one who chose us it's not we who chose you but God it's you who chose us Lord because we are chosen we are cognizant Lord God that they just have to live by their faith your word said Lord God Almighty that without faith it is impossible to please you for they that come to you Lord must believe that you are God so we pray in the name of Jesus for those who are going through oppression now who are going through recession now who are going through depression now who are on the verge of committing suicide who is drowning in the pit of self-pity who has been wounded and afflicted and on the verge of giving up we are praying Lord Jesus that the blood will flow the blood will restore that your spirit God will hover over someone who is on the verge of giving up you don't need to step over that cliff. You don't need to be hanging on a rope. The price has been paid for your sins. The price has been paid. Accept this in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that those of us who have forgotten the art of communication, and I've forgotten, Lord God Almighty, that men ought to pray and not to faint. We've well, forgotten, God Almighty, the principles of you, humility. And forgotten, Lord God, that prayer requires consistency. We pray in the name of Jesus that you will speak to them, Lord. We pray that faith will be restored. We pray that someone, Lord God, will receive the infilling of the Holy Ghost. name of Jesus hallelujah glory be to your name father we surrender everything to you we surrender our will we surrender our ambitions and we say Lord God let your will be done let your will be done and your kingdom come in Jesus name in Jesus name and the church Amen. Amen. God has spoken. God has 
so kind. Let the church, so let the church sing. Say amen. Let the church let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. Today, I want to give someone that opportunity to surrender their life to the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know you by name and I don't know you by number, but you could have been baptized in Jesus' name and yet you're still not surrendered. You might have not experienced a relationship with Jesus Christ through the principles of water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. The altar is open to you. If you want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, the altar is open. The phone lines are open. You can still call. You can make an appointment to be baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of your sins. You can and you must in Jesus' name. So let the church telephone numbers for those who are in cyberspace you can watching us on one of those cloud platforms you may call us 876-928-4510 876-928-5092 call us if this service also has been a blessing to you and you want to give an offering to the furtherance of this ministry, please, our numbers are streamed across the, 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 the screen and we ask you, First Caribbean International Bank, it's a checking account, 10410000. Eighteen. That's one eight. God bless you. God bless you. The scripture says, keep your mind stayed upon the Lord when we are one from the other and he will keep us in perfect peace. God bless you as you do so in Jesus name. And now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his throne. To him who is the only wise God, be all glory, honor, majesty, dominion, and power, now and forevermore. Let all the people say, Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. <laughs> 